This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, August 3rd, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and the Phoenix Monitor today. We'll talk to Alex Meyer. He just won the 25K at the Open Water World Championships. And Alex joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Boston. Alex, welcome to the show. How you doing? Thanks, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Just hanging out. Hey, congrats on winning the, uh, the World Championships. Tell us about the race. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty crazy race. really came down on the wire, I'm sure. There's uh, a couple videos up on the internet, but um, yeah, it was pretty typical until just the very end there where it was just me and uh, Valerio, the Italian, and just uh, had the sprint at the end, and it was uh, a really gratifying win. So, How does a 25-kilometer race come down to a sprint? Uh, I mean, because I mean, it ha- it's, it's kind of ironic because it's, it's such a long race, but you see... You know, a lot of these open water, you know, 10Ks, even 25Ks coming down to the wire more than more than even like a mile in the pool, you know, because uh, there's so, uh, so much strategy and tactics involved, especially with the whole drafting thing, you know. So people tend to stay together as long as possible. Um, so it's actually not that com- or it's actually fairly common to see really long races uh, come like really close at the end. So. Now, are you just, uh, you know, when you have a 25K race, if you're swimming in that A, you're a great distance swimmer, but you've got you got to have some sprinting chops if that's going to be the strategy that everyone employs. That just hang together till the end and you know see who pulls out ahead. I mean, what uh, what kind of sprint training do you do? I mean, <laughs> uh, my coach would love to hear you say that, but um, I mean, obviously, I have background in in the 500 and the thousand miles just because I just finished uh, college. Um, so I feel like, especially compared to guys who like really focus on the 25k, I feel like I have a lot of speed compared to them. And a 10k might be um, a little bit different because those guys uh, at, at the top uh, top level in the world are are also really fast at the end. Um, I don't honestly, I don't do uh, like much like sprint, like as, if you would call it sprint training. But um, usually once or twice a week, we do like some power work and and. Uh, just some high end, just really fast stuff, just to keep uh, keep those fast twitch muscles kind of working. But honestly, not that much. Do you feel like that paid off in this race? I think so. Yeah, and I knew that. I I was also just feeling pretty confident in in my sprint. I mean, I've I've seen uh, Clary race many times, and he was the fastest at the end of the 10k, and I knew that uh, he would be tough. Um, but I just felt like. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just knew I could do it. So, you're a Harvard guy. Yeah. You've probably got some smarts. Yeah. Does it uh, Does it take a more intelligent swimmer to figure out the strategy of open water as a pool as opposed to pool swimming? Uh, I would say I would say yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely um, it's definitely a, th- a thinking race. You know, you it's pretty strategic, and you have to. Uh, there's a lot of times when you need to make uh, some important decisions that can really affect uh, really affect the outcome of the race. For I mean, in the, in the pool, like pretty much everyone has their own strategy that you know you'll go into a race with a race plan. But I mean, in open water, um, you can have a plan. You can go into a race with a plan, but you need to be prepared to uh, just throw that out the window at any second, and just depending on what what the race dictates. So I would say. Um, yeah, the, the the best swimmers are often the smartest swimmers. I heard you had said you were more proud of winning the world championship than graduating from Harvard. True? See, I did not say that. I, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm like very proud of both things. I think there is a little bit. It was lost in translation uh, up there. He, I definitely did not phrase it like it like has been in all of the articles I've seen online, but. Um, well, I think you should say that. I mean, there's yeah, more I mean, Harvard grads than there are world championships. You're in more exclusive company. No knock problem. on Harvard, of course, but I think you should stand by those words. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm obviously very proud of both things. In that moment, I was definitely not really thinking at all about like my academic career at all. But like, um, I'm, I definitely, you know, feel like I'm more of a, a swimmer than a. a scholar i'm definitely not a scholar like i'm not yeah i'm done with school for now so all right so i stand by those words for the most part all right so what do you do now i mean you've got a biology degree from harvard probably some pretty decent jobs out there for you but you've got the olympics a couple years away so what do you do 
Uh, I'm just training. I'm staying here in Cambridge with my college coach, Tim Murphy. Um, and I'm just training here, trying to just ride this uh, swimming bandwagon. So and it's working out well so far. So Anyone trying to talk you out of that? Nope. <laughs> Good. Follow your yeah. dream. I am. Well, thanks, Alex. Appreciate it, and congratulations. Thank you. All right, that's Alex Meyer joining us from Harvard, and that is it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.